Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Nick, and in today's video, we're gonna follow the Shopify guide to build our first Shopify app. We're gonna see it just like this at the end with our app in the theme, and we can create QR codes from our products. Let's get started. So the guide we're gonna be following is from this Shopify dev tutorial. It's really simple, uh, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is open your terminal to a directory that you plan on creating this app. And then you need to make sure that you have the Shopify CLI installed. And you can do this by running this and you should see uh, a pretty updated version here. If not, you can run this code and uh, it will download it, but we already have it. So we're gonna run Shopify app init. And this is gonna build, well, it's gonna ask us a few questions and then it's gonna build the scaffolding for a uh, starter place. So I'm gonna call this my first app. I'm gonna use Remix, I'm gonna use JavaScript and now it's just gonna install some dependencies. Perfect, and now once it finishes, we can just run cd into that directory, and then we can run Shopify app dev. And that's gonna start this server so that we can, so that we can then, um, so that we can then connect it to our theme. Pick a theme that you want it to be added to. Click through these boilerplate questions. Excellent, and now if we hit P on the keyboard, it should open up a preview for us. So now you can see it's trying to install into the theme that I specified, so I can just click through like this. And now we are at the boilerplate code of the Remix starter package. So now we can start editing some code. Okay, so now let's open up the code editor, and we're gonna open up first this schema.prisma file, and at the very bottom, we're gonna paste this code in, which is gonna create a new database with the QR code information. So we need to do that, and then we need to run a couple terminal commands. So I'm gonna open up in my integrated terminal, and I'm going to run npm run prisma migrate dev. Excellent, and then we can actually check this by running another command. And what this will do is it will open up a tab to our database management so we can see our two tables here, uh, both models. So we're doing well so far, let's keep going. Okay, now we need to create another file and I'm going to go into app and create a new folder called models. And then within that, I'm going to create a new file called QR code server.js and I'm going to paste this code in and we just created the database in the last step and now this code right here is going to allow us to query this database okay so now we need to create another file and this file is going to be within the routes directory and it's going to be called QR codes oh, excuse me it's going to be called app dot QR codes dot dollar sign ID dot JSX if you're not familiar with this syntax for a file name, I'd recommend looking up uh, Remix documentation and understanding. But we're going to paste this code in, which is uh, a lot of code here, but really all it's doing is creating a form so that we can submit our products to get the QR code. Okay, so let's save that, and then we need to create another file. And this file is also going to be within the routes directory, and it is going to be called app.index.jsx. Oh, excuse me, this, this file already exists, my mistake. So we can go right into it. And I'm just going to copy and paste the whole, uh, the whole file. But really what this page is doing is it's allowing the users to navigate to the QR codes and it'll show the list of the QR codes that we've already created. All right, now we're going to create another file called QR codes. It's going to be another dynamic file, so it'll look like this. QR codes dot dollar sign ID dot JSX. All right, and then we can copy and paste this code. And of course, all this code is going to be available on my GitHub or also in that uh, within this documentation, like I uh, mentioned previously. Okay, so we've added this file, and what this file is doing is it's exposing, uh, it's making the QR scannable and exposing them with a public URL. Okay, now we're going to create one more file, and it's going to be called QR codes dollar sign ID scan. And we can paste this code in and hit save. Okay, perfect. Now we can check our terminal and it should still be running. And if we go back, oh, we see an error here. Let's see if I refresh. 
and let's see. Okay, and I made a mistake here, uh, an oversight. In the guide, it tells you to install these packages that we require. So I've opened up here, and all we need to do now is just run a series of commands in our terminal. So let's do that now. I apologize after a little debugging. I think I typed in my uh, command to migrate the database in the first step incorrectly. So just make sure if it didn't give you this green message last time, go ahead and run this command again. And after restarting my server, I now see this successful uh, app screen. So I can go in and create a QR code, select a product, And now I can save and voila. Now we have a QR code that when scanned can navigate right to the product page. So this has been a very quick tutorial on how to get started with Shopify apps. Stay tuned for more Shopify and Shopify app related content and see you next time.